Hello friend, Miranda here. Now I want to show you one of my favorite ways to apply the makeup, especially if you're somebody that doesn't want to use your fingers, you prefer to use a brush, you're going to want the smudge brush. I love this one. It's an eyeshadow brush, but the ends of it are perfect for applying in lines or applying in dots. So you're going to take, I personally like to start with contour, especially when I'm showing you, just so you can see where it's going. And this one is going to be applied in the shape of a three on our face. You are applying it along your forehead, right along that cheekbone, and then along your jawline. So backwards three. Then you're also going to do down your side of your nose. And that's where we have our contour. Next, we're gonna take, flip the brush over. I like to come into this brightening shade. So typically when I show you how to set up your compact, I'm gonna tell you to put your contour first, brightening shade, and then main shade. These two are gonna be a smidge bit different as far as the color. One of them is going to brighten. It's gonna go in the center of your face. It's kind of what you think of as far as contour. So I'm brightening up that center of my face, down my nose, right up under my nose and then right up under my lips. So basically in our T-zone. You don't have to apply this perfectly. You can literally slap it on. Now we're gonna use the same end, come into our main shade, and you're kind of filling in the gaps. You can go ahead and apply your blush here and blend all at once. I prefer to apply these three, which are these three here. That is gonna be your 3D foundation. I want to blend that first and then apply my cheek color. You'll notice I'm blending from lightest to darkest. Our brighter shade or blending that shade. And then I will go into like my main color and then the contour last. Okay, now if you're somebody that grabbed bronzer or you like to have a bronze look, which I do, I always wear my bronzer when I do my makeup, I'm gonna take and do my bronzer next. I like for it to be right on top of my 3D foundation. I am gonna place it right here. So in the shape of like a C. And then the same over here. And then you'll notice I'm just blending that in. If you did not grab bronzer, I love bronzer. Bronzer is one of my favorite things. I feel like it just really steps up the look. It's a fun addition to add and you can actually grab it with our bronzer brush and save money. So there we go. You'll see, I'm gonna kind of like blend this shade here into that. So they kind of like marry each other and have like a seamless blend and it's not so harsh. Now I'm gonna take, flip back, and I'm gonna add that cheek color. So I'm gonna come into this one right here. This one is Royal. She is a gloss, so she looks pretty dark. 
I promise you she's not as dark on the face. And then same thing here. You'll see I like to apply kind of right on the corner of my eyes and moving up for that lifted effect. And there we go. You can also take, you can use your finger. I always recommend three to four lip and cheeks for you based on your preference. Um, if you wanted all of the recommendations or you just wanted a few and your budget. So you'll see I have three because I like to change them up. Sometimes I want to wear one as a cheek color, one as a lip color. I like to mix them. I like to play around. But that right there is your basic, your 3D foundation with one lip and cheek. I did use bronzer so that you would get the look of bronzer. You could see how to apply it. And that is where you can go. You can stop right there. Now, if you're somebody that got extras, you want extras, let me show you how to do that. So eyeshadows are fun. You can always... Add eyeshadows, do eyeshadows. I want to show you an eyeshadow look with just using two colors just to start you off. Maybe you're a newbie. I'm going to take and I'm going to use this shade right here. It's a good, like, warm neutral. And you'll see I'm going to tap it. I have this as the eyeshadow brush. If you didn't grab our brushes, oh, uh, they're heavenly. They're great. They're made and designed for our makeup, especially our creams. This eyeshadow brush is phenomenal. So I'm going to take, you can see I have hooded eyes, meaning when I open my eyes, you can't really see my eyelid. So I like to make sure I have some of that color on this brow bone. So when my eyes are open, you can see it. You see how I'm applying that up there a little on the brow bone. I like to take it and do it ever so lightly. So you'll see, I just grab a tiny bit of product and blend. I like a very subtle, faint eye look when I do it. So there's that. And then I'm just going to Kind of make sure there's nothing there but you can see i have some on my eye if you like a little bit more you can always do that but i like to make sure it's right up there on that brow bone okay those of you with hooded eyes and then what i like to do is honestly just take you can do any of your shimmers honestly any of these would be pretty with that i have drift i think this soulmate and then crush so i'm going to show you today with crush Take it with my finger. Literally, I just love using my finger for it because you get a very precise application. Like you know exactly where it's going and with the shimmer, you don't worry about it flaking under your eye. And there we go, easy peasy. You could also take, I'm gonna show you if we were gonna do three colors or you wanna amp up your game, you can take, tap into this one that's a little bit warmer, a little darker, kind of put it on the outside right there on the outer corner almost in a v shape and just darken up that outer corner right there and see how it just adds a little bit more you can even take brush that up under your eye it's like a subtle eyeliner there you go so you have your basic four tens here. If you were somebody that just started off with the four, this is what you have. You may have gotten a palette eight to add to it to be able to have more room. Maybe you have room here, you would put, I would say bronzer, powder, eyeshadows. I do recommend as you grow your collection, keeping your creams on the top and your powders on the bottom. So I'm gonna show you what mine looks like. So with my compact, I have my 3D foundation like I showed you, and then I have my three lip and cheeks over here. I and then on my bottom, you'll see I do have my bronzer here with my others. Typically, I keep like this cream separate, um, but when I'm using the size 12, I like to keep my bronzer here. I have an illuminator, our setting powder, and then six eyeshadows that can give me a few different looks. So this is how my palette looks. This is how I keep it when I'm using a palette 12.